Hi, this is Jacob from Control Byte Company again. Let's move on with our PLC course. Let's develop our factory I.O. scene. Let's add some new elements to the scene and let's exercise Boolean operations with ladder logic. Welcome to the next section of this PLC programming course. In this section, we will talk about bit logic operations. Beneath this video, you have two attachments, template of TIA project and the factory I.O. scene. You can download the files and start wor working with me, or you can continue working on your project from previous lesson. Okay, let's go to instructions window. Expand bit logic operations. Here you have basic instructions that we have already applied in previous lessons. Now I'd like to describe application of each instruction in detail. We have already used normally open contact and assignment instruction, coil. Normally open contact instruction consists of its graphical representation and linked variable which is called operand. How does it work? Normally open contact is closed conduct signal when the operand has signal state 1. In this case, variable x push button on the address 0.0, .0 has to be in high state. The value of this variable has to be true. Normally open contact is open, doesn't conduct signal when the operand has signal state 0. Ok, let's go to TIA portal and let's check how it works. I have PLC sim running. I have also active online monitoring. And I have factory I.O. also running. I will check the drivers, OK. OK. What does it mean that normally open contacts conducts or blocks signal? You can imagine this ladder diagram as electrical circuit. On the left, you have power rail, on the right you have ground. The power flows from the power rail to ground, from left to right. We connect our normally open contact to the power rail. The power rail in high state is in green. Now our normally open contact does not conduct the signal from power rail. It will conduct the signal if the connected operand is in high state, if this variable is true. To make this variable true, to make this variable in high state, we have to press the button. If we press the button, this little graphical representation of normally open contacts is in green as well as the power rail. It means that the signal state after this instruction is logical true. Let's go back to the presentation for a moment. What can you do with normally open contact? You can form logical operation, logical operation AND, and logical operation OR. You can build logical operation AND in your ladder diagram by placing two normally open contacts in series. The result of this operation, the signal state after the second normally open contact, is presented in this truth table. 
As you can see, both operands from the first normally open contact and second normally open contact must be true, must be in high state to generate the signal of value true at the output of this operation. Now let's move on to next logical operation. It is operation OR. To build such an operation in a ladder diagram, you have to place two normally open contacts in parallel. On the right you have truth table for this operation. As you can see, in OR operation, the output is true if at least one of the operands is true. Ok, enough talking, let's get to the TIA portal and do some exercises. Ok, my simulation is still running, I can control factory IO scene. Now I have to go offline, so that I can modify my code. In the previous lesson, we placed a normally open contact with one operand X push button 1. Let's place another normally open contact next to this instruction. To do this, you can click on the normally open contact from favorite bar, drag it and drop to this ladder branch. The next possibility to place a normally open contact is to click on the branch and use shortcut like shift plus F2. And the normally open contact appeared. Okay, the third option is to go to BitLogic operations in the library and also drag and drop it where you want. Ok, let's practice boolean operation and with this code and this fact factory IO scene. Let's program this scene with the following assumptions. When you press this start button, the bugs should go as far as the sensor at the end of this conveyor. When the bugs will reach the sensor, it should stop. To do this, you have to use signal from this button and from the sensor. OK. Now let's see if our sensor is properly defined as tag in our standard variable list. We have no sensor, so we have to define this tag. Go to drivers, place the sensor in the address i0.2, and type the, the sensor name in the tag table. OK. Let's go back to main OB1. Click on the normally open contact on the red text field. type x and select our variable which is x sensor 1. If you are interested in PLC programming, just enroll in our full PLC training, you will find the link down below this video.